Hi everybody, so in this video I want to show you how you can add more revolvers or 357 magnums to your DAISY community private server. These are a really powerful uh, handgun, they're a lot of fun and uh, yeah you want more of them around so your server players can, can get their hands on them. And we're also going to look at how to add more 357 ammo as well, so obviously you can't really have have one without the other. Now I'm going to be use uh, use Nitrado as an example as how to get the XML files off your server, but you may well be familiar with that, so you can skip ahead a bit. Um, you may well use FTP, uh, but with Nitrado, what you do is you find the relevant server that you want to uh, modify, go into the web interface, and what we're looking for is the file browser so you click on that now if you're on PC you've got to go a little bit deeper it starts a little bit further up but if you dig through you're looking for the DAISY PS missions folder um, and then uh, we can see DAISY offline dot generous plus but you might see Enoch if you're working on a Livonia server on, on a Livonia server but we want I'm working this is a generous plus one so that's there and then we want to go into the DB folder the database folder and the file that we want to download is the types.xml file there, that one there. So you would download that. Um, now, when you um, when you download it, make sure you make a copy of it. So if you make a cock up of it, you've got an original to go back to. And then you want to open it up in your favorite text editor. You could use Notepad. Personally, I recommend Notepad++. It's a free download. Um, it color codes what you do, and it makes it easy to see if you've made a... A spelling mistake or if you've deleted something and then the opening and closing tags in your file if they're not correct it'll it'll kind of show you that as well so first things first let's have a look for the revolver now it's called the magnum in the file so I'm just going to find magnum there we go and there it is so let's take a look at the magnum so on a vanilla server there should be 25 magnums and they spawn in towns and villages in tier 1 2 and 3 so that means they spawn away from the coast uh, so they're not right on the coast but it's still fairly inland but 25 isn't that many of them so the first thing we do let, let's boost that number up I know let's let's go up to um, let's put 40 of them in um, and then let's put in the minimum as 30 so that's the point at which they start respawning in um, quant min quant max they're saying it doesn't apply so we're gonna leave that alone I haven't figured out how to make the guns with internal magazines like the revolver which has a, obviously has the the revolving bit that has the bullet I don't know if you adjust that with a leave that alone leave that alone for now and they're counted it just in the map so that's good so if a player's got one or it's in a stash or in a crate somewhere it won't be counted um, it's classed as a weapon uh, in towns village two one two three now what you could do if you wanted to make it easier for your players to find them what you could do is if you just got rid of the tier like that and just had towns and villages. In fact, what you could also do is if you copied that, added another usage name, and if we put in military, like so. So now they're going to spawn at in. There's a chance of them spawning in any town or any village and any military place. Because as you well know, within Daisy every piece of loot has a usage name which is where it is and it has a category name so what it is so the magnum the revolver is a weapon um, and vanilla it's found in towns and villages but we're saying find it in town villages and military bases and we've got rid of the tier bit so it means that it'll be found in any of them spread all over the map sometimes things you do make it harder to find stuff because by adding military we've obviously we've added more revolvers but we've spread them out more so they might be a bit more random and also remember as you're adding stuff you should really be trying taking stuff away so if we've added 15 more revolvers we should really try and take away 15 things that aren't good like i don't know the hockey helmets or, or, or something like that um so that we kind of keep the the loot economy in balance and also remember by adding these to the military spawns there's other military stuff that might not spawn in so it's always a give and take and it's a very fine balance with um with this sort of stuff with how you do it um, so there we go so if we've added more revolvers so you then save it at that point so now we want to do, what we want to do is add more 357 ammo There's no point having more guns with no no ammo so let's just look for 357 and 357 comes 
in um, two flavors you get the boxes and then you get the loose stuff so the, the values might be different because I have been messing around with these files so at the moment there's 40 357 uh, boxes of ammo that should spawn around so let's increase that to say 60 we'll do the minimum as 40 it's found as counted in the map now this is quite interesting here so it's only found 357 ammo is only found in villages but we know from before that the actual revolver itself is found in towns isn't it so let's go back to the magnum and let's copy all of the places that it's found there copy that let's go back to the 357 and let's put that over the top of there oh now see what I've done this there's a good example of see how that's gone black now that's because I've managed I didn't copy the uh, opening um, tag and notepad plus plus showed me that by changing the color so there we go so now the ammo we've we've added more ammo but it's also going to be found in more places it's going to be found in town villages and military bases where you will find the revolver which is which is useful um, so let's copy them properly this time and let's find the other three so this the ammo underscore 357 this is just loose 357 um, so it's found in farm and villages so it's actually found in farms this one so if we paste that on top of there I'm not I think 80 is probably enough I'm not really bothered by having more of the handfuls of ammo I prefer the boxes of ammo because you get 20 bullets don't you so now you, you'll find 357 ammo um, in farms, towns, villages, and military bases. And what's really cool sometimes about looking at the um, type of that XML file is that you can get, it's almost like seeing the matrix. You know when Neo is seeing the, the numbers and the letters come down the screen, he can see what's behind the matrix, you know, the code. You can see this and go, oh, 357 ammo, oh, that's found in farms as well. You know, so all those times when you ignore the farms, you know, because you've got you've got some wellies and you've got a spade you don't well maybe it's worth looking around because you might find some 357 ammo and you sort of sort to see these little things that that make that make the game work so there we go so we've added more revolvers about added more magnums so we would save that um, and then what I'd kind of recommend you always do is go somewhere like xmlvalidation.com and just just validate your file just to see that you haven't made any errors in it when you're doing simple changes like this the chances of you making an error are pretty low but there's always a chance if you're using like notepad or, or, or something like that where it doesn't really highlight errors that you could and this will show you it now sometimes you'll get fake positives with with these sites where um especially the way that bohemia interactive put their um, comments in there's in the spawnable types there's a, like an army comment they put too many dashes in or something that comes up as an error but but it's not an error you can ignore that also sometimes when you see an error pop up in the validator especially when it comes to opening or closing tags so those those little angle brackets um, it could be the error actually starts further up the file so uh, this video isn't all about finding errors in in documents but generally obviously if you valid if you only do a small change and you validate it and then there's an error go back to what you've done and then double check it and then you go back to your server and upload it via FTP or whatever however you do it but in the case of Nitrado you would stop the server tell any people who are playing on it that you're going to do that before of course upload the new types.xml file that will overwrite that one and then you restart the server and that my friends is how you add more magnum 357 revolvers and ammunition to your daisy community servers if you found that video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon